Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I am Jefferson Alonzo Green, AKA the Jag, and you are? I'm Pete, the Encyclopedia. You damn right, the Encyclopedia Pete Travis. And he is not only prolific and gifted, having attended 70 plus shows this year, which we established on yesterday's episode, but you, sir, mm -hmm. have taken almost 12,000 12, pictures. That's why we can say with 100% confidence and assurity that this man is prolific and gifted. And today, America, world, if you're watching this, you get to hear the encyclopedia's top five matches of 2019 based on your live personal attendance. live attendance. Attendance, live attendance. He was in the seat, people. He was watching, probably with or, camera in hand. Or prowling around, taking photos. Yes. Camera in hand or camera on stand? Yes, absolutely. I know at GCW you have Pete's perch. Oh, for sure. And probably I think the first match we get into is probably from that. Ooh, so it might have been camera in hand. It might have been butt in seat. It might have been camera on a stand. It might have been Pete prowling around. How many alliterations can we have? <laughs> Pete's picks from Pete's perch or Pete prowling around? I don't know. But the encyclopedia is prolific and gifted. And today, tell me, Pete, what is match number five? Boop. Effie versus Eddie King. Oh! smokes that's a very good, good choice. Goodbye, yellow brick road you damn right Effie is fantastic of course uh i mean it can't say enough about like that 2019 was such a great year for Effie. i'm so glad that yeah he was able to break out into a much larger audience and people appreciate the hard work but i got a bone to pick with Effie. can i just talk a little trash sure. real quick Effie, if you don't bring your ass back to california me and you're gonna have a problem oh -ho! Effie better get back to california in 2020 because we have more stuff to talk about i want to interview you Effie. Well, we do, but I'm usually the one with the microphone. So you got to come back so we can talk a little more trash, have a little more heart to heart because we had an amazing conversation, Effie and I, and I want to continue the conversation. So Effie, if you're watching this, and you are because he's a fan, of course he is, bring your ass back to California or the Jag is going to find you in Florida. Well, there's another person that also needs to, we need to sit down and talk to, you know, oh, it's yeah. the Mad King. The Mad King, I mean, if we want to talk about Eddie Kingston, I had to tell him at PCW how much I appreciated his promo on NWA Power. And NWA Power. That so was good. magnificent. Eddie oh, yeah, Kingston's a veteran, not just in the ring, but also on the mic, and it shows. Mm -hmm. Remember when he filled in on Beyond because the guy was running late and he did commentary on Beyond? That was fantastic. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Jerry, we need more of that. I know you're watching, Jerry. So, he's like, a fan. Uh, no, well, yeah, of course Jerry's a fan. Yeah. We love IWTV. We have MMA, or we have uh, Fan 20. Yes, uh, hash, or no, the code. Yeah, the, the yeah. code is MMAF20. Yeah, 20. For 20 free days. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why it's IWTV, you clowns. But hold on, because this match at GCW in LA, slime language, was Effie versus Eddie freaking Kingston. I can't mm -hmm. think of two better people to wrestle. For sure. I mean, and when you look at these picks, look at, I mean, just being able to capture that moment, that chop, that, oh, yeah. that, that was brutal. Eddie does not play around when it comes yeah. to the chops. Especially he came with the chair there. Yeah. <laughs> Did not matter for Effie. Effie is like, I don't care. Always. And of course, Eddie was also taking on the fans out that were cheering and jeering. Yeah. So, yeah. Eddie is not taking trash from anybody. He will let you know how he feels. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Effie yeah. was trying some new stuff, some crazy stuff off the second row. Look at that. And then he's going to roll into that dragon sleeper oh, that he yeah. tapped Eddie out with. That was a fantastic show. Man, fantastic mm -hmm. match. So, yeah, that was my number five match of the year. That was fantastic. So, Effie come back to LA. Of course, Eddie Kingston. I have a feeling we're going to see Eddie Kingston again because oh, that guy so. is working all the time. I think mm -hmm. Effie's working all the time too, but he does a lot more East Coast. Mm -hmm. Effie, come out here. We have sunshine. The best sides on the West Side. You damn right. All right. So, that was number five. Let's talk about number four. I have Tessa versus Daga. Tessa versus Daga? Really? What was this? This was a bar, and we'll have it here in the notes down here. All right, so but, bar wrestling, Tessa versus Daga. Yeah. Love versus love. Future, mm -hmm. what, I guess they're fiancés oh, they, 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 Yeah, they're, they are engaged. All right, so future husband versus future wife. This was an amazing, I mean, I'm looking at the pictures. They look like they match, first of all. Of course. They look like a freaking tag team. All right, so tell <laughs> well, me about they, and, they and they have tagged before as well. Well, I but, wasn't there, so tell yeah. me what happened. Oh, no, it was just a great match. I mean, again, you know, this is this was a, a, a packed show. This was in the summer. It was hot. Mm. So, you know, you have a great match between the two of them, and it's yeah. a back-and-forth match, and you could see that, um, that they were not pulling out the stops against oh, each no, other. Oh, no, they looked fantastic. And, of course, she came out. Tessa came out with the W? Came out with the W. Man, but it's, it's okay. hard to beat Tessa these days. Well, I, you know, I don't know how Sammy Callahan's going to do it because she's winning the world title on the 12th, guys. He better eat his Wheaties, say his prayers, take his vitamins, and believe in himself. But that still probably won't be enough to beat Tessa freaking Blanchard. I mean, she, so. she had an amazing 2019, and this match was my number four. And you never know. 2020 could be even better for her. So number four was Tessa versus Daga at Bar Freaking Wrestling, which takes us to number three. three. 
Oh, do you like pina coladas? <laughs> I do. I also got the lollipop. You did. You got the lollipop. I got the business end of that lollipop. So this was GCW, Orange Cassidy versus to, to Joey yeah, Ryan. Li uh, to, to live and die in LA. To live and die in LA. All right, that was back in March. You said, mm -hmm. right? All right. So freshly squeezed himself mm -hmm. versus the king of sleaze, mm -hmm. dong style, Joey freaking Ryan. And uh, we had the battle of. You know the dong versus the pockets, yeah. and which is more powerful? Well, you know, I think we'll find out eventually. But yeah, just you know, such what? a good. If they good. want to find out the answer to that question, you got to watch our recap. Make me a fan of Orange Cassidy because we talk about the power of the dong versus the power of the OJ. Not yeah. Simpson, but Orange Juice. And then obviously the photo op. I have so many photos. Like every time Joey wrestles, I always get a photo op of him. Oh that. yeah, yeah. Well, so okay. that's a great. Oh. Yes, Dude, I can't. This is, I have to this is, I, uh, guys. We'll we'll put the uh, we'll put the red X like they used to have in the WWF days. You know yeah. where it's like yeah. It's just okay, it's off the screen. It's off okay, the screen. Right, so right. It's actually something appropriate. Oh, it's, oh, it's just the dong flip. That's all we. I mean, this is. Yeah. Wait, did he get him all the way? Did he? Get oh yeah. Him? Oh yeah. No, he, there's full. There's full. There's, there's full, full contact. Plex going on here. And of course, even Joey's a sportsman after a match like that. Yeah, that was a hell of a match. You guys, if you haven't seen that match, it's actually on YouTube. So if I'm feeling generous, I might give you a link to that match right above my head so you can see what the hell we're talking about. But you also got to check out Make Me a Fan of Orange Cassidy because the encyclopedia and the JAG talk about that match. And of course, you get to see the encyclopedia get the lollipop. So that one's almost worth the price of mission there. So that was number three. Number two. Numero dos. What is number two? Jungle Boy versus Jake Atlas, Battle of Los Angeles. Oh, snap. That sounds uh, like a hell of a match. Tell oh, me about it. A five-star match. Really? Five-star match. That was uh, number... Two of three that Jake had that week, so he had a five-star wow. match at bar. Okay, and then um, I saw him. Re and these are what I saw live as well. Okay, so all right. His match against Dom was at, at, at bar. bar. Okay, and that was a five-star match. Very and cool. And that's the first time in a large audience we've seen Dom versus Jake, and it was it tore the house down. All right, very cool. Uh, then he wrestled Jungle Boy, and as you can tell, emotions are high in this mm. building. I mean, it's Battle of Los Angeles. Yeah, it's the best. Sure. It's the best of the best in the Indies. Even if they are best friends, they're still trying to win the Battle of Los Angeles. Are they so really they, good friends? Yeah, they are very good friends. Okay, very. They, cool. they spend a lot of time wrestling, and just when you're around. Yeah, I mean it's L.A. It's L.A. But like, look at the athleticism of both. You see Jungle Boy tumbling out of the way, Jake doing his somersault and just yeah. landing. That's awesome. I mean, this is this match, guys. I would recommend. I, 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 they this takes over a year to get these onto high spots really? because. PWG sells the, the Blu-rays, and oh. they just went on sale for Bola, and they are worth owning. Wow, so um, you better go pick that up. Yeah, I Normally we tell you to go to certain websites, but we, you gotta get the DVD. You, you, have, you have to own the DVD of this first, because right. it takes a year before it shows up Holy on high smokes. spots. I wanna see it, so yeah. I guess I better get the DVD. So yeah, I mean, this is just an amazing match. Obviously, we this photo's been in three shows. Yeah. It, it's just that good, and it encapsulates PWG, but this building, oh, for sure. I mean, just look at the athleticism, the two of them That's going amazing. back and forth. And it was a hard-fought match. I did not know that Jake was going to win. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's how, that's how good this match is. Wow. Jake freaking Atlas, man. Yeah. Number two match of the year for me. Number two. As, as, as seen live. That was a hell of a match. Mm -hmm. So if that's number two, Encyclopedia, there can be only one. There can be only what one. What is the number one match of the year that you personally attended with hashtag Pete's Picks? What is it? Tell the people. The finals of Bola. Oh. Which one? David Starr mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Jonathan Gresham and Bandito in the finals. That was a triple threat match? Yeah, so it, you have nine matches uh, and then they feed into like three, because uh, it's a triple threat elimination match. Okay. So it's an old school oh. ECW three-way dance that All right. essentially there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match after the first person loses a pinfall. All right, okay. And so it was David Starr versus Bandito versus Gresham. Unfortunately, um, uh, David got eliminated, and mm. for the greatest part of the match, it was Bandito versus Jonathan Gresham. Wow! And you just see that. I mean, look at the composition on this. I mean, yeah, you that's see, awesome. you know, when we're check playing, out Mr. Knox. Yeah, and Knox is right there trying yeah. to figure out Bandito. I mean, I think he's trying to say it in Spanish. Are you, are you going to give up? You know. And, wow! But yeah, this is phenomenal stuff. And uh, obviously, Bandito won um, the Battle of Los Angeles. Holy smokes! And, which is a very big deal, people. If you don't know, if you're an old school WWE guy like myself. Battle of LA, the winter Battle of LA usually goes on to big things. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a huge, I don't know, attaboy for Mr. Bandito. Well, yeah, I mean, he parlayed it into beating Jeff Cobb a couple of weeks ago True. at the last PWG show of the year yeah. and won the PWG title. And that's kind of how that works a lot of times is that uh, whoever wins Bola usually has more than a, a 
high amount of momentum behind them. All right. And a claim to a title show. Oh, for sure. Well, it's guaranteed. And he made the most of it. Of course Hell he yeah. did. All right. Because uh, Bandito almost won it once before. And so, like I said, it was kind of one of those things that a lot of people were very much anticipating this win. And uh, obviously, the Battle of Los Angeles, you know, had him tried and true and ready to go All right. against a very capable and defending champion in Jeff Cobb. Hell yeah. Well, that sounds fantastic. So that's it. So that's, that's it for the top for the best of twenty nineteen. That, that, that's for the best of twenty nineteen. We the can recap it for it is not mess around. Well we try not to, guys. You know, we, we take it serious around here. So number five was Eddie versus Effie at GCW Slime Language. Damn right. Number four was Tessa versus Daga at Apple Bar. Wrestling, yeah. uh, number three was Orange Cassidy, Joey Ryan from yeah. To Live and Die in LA, GCW. Another GCW. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then we had Jungle Boy Jack Atlas from PWG yep. from night three. And then, and then we also had Bolas Finals, uh, 2019. So if you look at your top match of the year, it's mm -hmm. no mystery as to yesterday's video why GCW was your number one show For of sure. the year and why PWG was number. Two? No, number uh, three. Yeah. Because Bar was number two. Mm -hmm. But still, this is fantastic, man. I mean, for a guy who's gone to 70 plus matches, has taken over 12,000 pictures, to boil it down to these five matches had to be difficult. Oh, for sure. This was, this. I think when I told you when I did the notes, between prepping, finding the photos, and getting everything ready, it was like four and a half hours. That of, is insane. And like, I had changed the list a couple times, and I had had Adam Cole on the list, I had Becky mm. Lynch on the list, because like, you know, there was some amazing stuff that happened, and yeah. they only, and they, and that was one, that was one match that you saw them in. True. And then they were making that list, but then I kind of looked at it and reevaluated everything. And I mean, we tend to have a little bit of a, of a lean or a, a, a penchant for Southern California. Oh, for sure. Independent wrestling. So. I kind of understand why you did what you did. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. Yes, sir. I hate to 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 be this guy, okay? But please do. But if this man is willing to put four and a half hours into his best of 2019 list and show, you can at least hit that freaking subscribe button. I mean, really? Hit that subscribe button because not only is he prolific and gifted, not only am I loud and obnoxious, I <laughs> loud and obnoxious. <laughs> not only am I loud and prolific, shall we say? But this man is is an encyclopedia of wrestling. So hit the bionic elbow mm -hmm. on the subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified of any and all new posts. But spoiler alert. 9 a.m. Every day, 9 a.m. Pacific time, new video. And in the comments, let us know what you think of the encyclopedia's top five matches. If you agree, great. Let us know. Great job, Pete. If you disagree, say, you were wrong. Die in a fire, Pete. <laughs> you forgot, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to say, we welcome the love. We welcome the hate. We thrive on it. So let's tease what tomorrow we're doing. Ooh, what are we doing tomorrow? Well, we had somebody reach out to us on Facebook and ask us to sit yes. down and go into the Wayback Machine and watch some uh, WWE Home From Classic. 1993? 1993, the UK 93 tour. I was a freshman in high school in 1993. I was in mm. seventh grade. Ooh, you just made me feel old. Not really, just a little bit behind you. All right, Mr. I forget his name on Facebook. We will shout you out in the next video. We're going to review and watch this match. We're going to tell you what we think. Yep. This is 1993. It's so going to be some faces and some things that you probably haven't heard in a while. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, uh, just a quick primer, guys. Think Lex Express, wow. Yokozuna. Wow. Doink, dink. Yes. Uh, we're we're, we're, we're going to get it. We're going to get into that attitude era. We're going to we're going to get into the part where I just came back into really loving wrestling. This is wrestling. pre attitude era. This, it, no, this is next the new generation. Oh, yeah. New generation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. WrestleMania, yeah, so we're coming off of a, like a SummerSlam 93 where Yoko, you know, right. lost, but it was by count out and Lex, yeah, so here we go. All right, he asked us to watch it and we listen to you, the fans. So we're gonna watch it and we will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. to tell you. We will cover all at the beginning all the way through the first match. All right, so let's do this thing. See you guys tomorrow.